I thought she was gonna tell me something was wrong with the baby, or I had like anemia or something like that. I never thought she'd tell me I was HIV positive. Well, I found out I was pregnant with my with my daughter. Um. I wasn't worried about me. I was worried about my child. I was like, okay, Lord. I have an illness that me and my child may die from because of my recklessness, having unprotected sex. And um, I prayed, I prayed. I pray to help you to get my Bible, read my Bible, listen to gospel music, and I will just rub my stomach and pray. Lord, please protect my child. I don't want her to, to live with the possibility of taking medication for the rest of her life because of my stupidity and not using protection. But, like my mother said, she made the decision to live with her. I can't change it, you know. And, and to be truthful, I wouldn't want to change it because I wouldn't have my daughter. My faith in God affects it 100%. I really think that if I wasn't saved and I didn't have faith in him, that it would be a lot harder on me than it is. When it gets to those points where I feel like I'm losing faith, or I feel like it's going to get harder for me to deal with it, you know, I pray about it. Um, I definitely learned through watching her struggle and from knowing what my father went through with his disease before he died, that God will never put more on you than you can take. And every situation that happens in your life is there to make you stronger as a person. So it's definitely through the grace of God that I'm definitely here today and that she's here today. And my faith in her is so strong. That's my heart and joy. I would do anything for my mom. She gets on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> so I'm missing some of my pillboxes. And I missed some of my pillboxes. They give you a pillbox with your name on it. From Sunday to Saturday, and they put all your medication in it. HIV medication, if you got high blood pressure, it's in there. If you have sugar and you just take a pill, it's in there. What Josh does, it teaches you to live well with HIV. One time, I had no immune system. My immune system was zero, and the virus was in the millions. And so when I went to the hospital in 07, they had to take me off all my medications. They even took me off my epilepsy medication because they had to do the blood test again to find out what I could take because I had to do all the other regimens. So now I'm on the last regimen. It's Fusion, which is an injection. I can take twice a day. And then I have to take three pills. I have to take a Centrus and then tell it in the morning and the afternoon. And um, I've been taking the regimen for five years. And I'm getting shot fatigue. I'm not getting pill fatigue. And it's funny. You would think I would get f p pill fatigue from taking medicine for my epilepsy and the pills for my HRV, but I'm getting shot fatigue. I'm tired of taking my shots. And I want a pill to come down the pipeline. Living with HRV is no different than living a normal life. I just have to take medication. That's the only difference. I get up in the morning, I wash my body, I put on the clothes the same way, I eat the same way, I laugh the same way, I walk the same way, 
I talked the same way. I cried the same way. The only thing different is that I had to take his medication. And that's, you know, that's the only difference I see is between living with HIV and not living with HIV.